I've replaced that big old clunky air core coil, this one, that I used in the last video as a generator coil. I've replaced that with a type of variable inductor uh, known as a loop stick. And that's it right there. You can see that it's uh, got a double wound set of coils there. And then it's just got two, it's got a red and green wire hooked up to it. And then I have that directly hooked up to this LED. And I have the scope probes across the terminals of that loop stick and I have the loop stick position where a generator coil would be if this were an Orbo. Right? And this is the trace from that generator coil. We're using a 10x attenuated probe and we're at uh, two tenths of a volt per division so that makes it two volts per division. I think you can see my radical and if you look closely, you can see the tilt in the gradical. You see the bottom line there it comes right to the bezel on this side. But on this side, it's up a little bit. So the whole scope is actually tilted just a little bit here. And that's where some of your misinterpretations of my lines are coming from. Okay, I have the scope set in terms of the trace rotation so that a straight line is right parallel with the radical lines. You see that? Okay, so that trace, if you look at it, you look, see, see how it looks like it's going up from left to right? That's because this, the CRT is actually mounted a little bit crooked in this frame. Okay, but the lines are parallel to the radical. See if I can bring that up a little bit. You see that? Okay. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's just go ahead and get that trace back where we had it. There we go. Okay, so that's a pretty good sinusoid when the magnet passes the coil. This little gap here is because the magnets are really too far apart for a generator. Okay. Now, this is uh, this loop stick is a variable inductor, okay, and this is its core right here. This is a ferrite uh, on a threaded rod, and, what, and the way the loop stick comes is it actually comes with this going through a little bit of a nut in there so that you can vary the inductance of the loop stick by moving this core in and out, okay. So, uh, as I was saying, with the uh, inductor, or rather the core out, we're at uh, two tenths of a volt per division on the scale setting, and we have a 10x attenuated probe, so each division is worth two volts, right? So here we're looking at, let me move it up and down a little bit, we're looking at a little over three, three volts peak, peak to peak, right? So because we have two volts per division, so that's two volts, three volts, and a little bit over that, okay? So now what I'm going to do is slide the loop stick in. Oh, by the way, this this LED has a measured forward voltage of 2.569 volts. Okay. And so it's not blowing right now. Right. So, but when I slide the inductor in like this, into the loop stick, watch what happens to the trace. In, 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 in. You can hear the rotor slowing down, right? And we've gone from, let's see, two, four, six, eight, that's ten volts now, peak to peak. And sure enough, We have a brightly glowing LED, and we have rotor speed slowing down, All right? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is wire things just slightly differently. 
if I can. Now this resistor is uh, 4630 ohms measured. Okay, so LEDs on, glowing a little bit more dimly now because we have this uh, 4.6K resistor in series, and then we also have the microammeter on there, right? And uh, what I'm going to do is adjust the input power, give a little bit more speed. So now we're showing right at 90 microamps from my perspective, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 microamps, right? and that's going through that coil. And we have a peak to peak voltage at the loop stick of Two, four, six, eight, ten, almost twelve volts now. We have a light going on. We have 90 microamps. And we have a given rotor speed. Oh, excuse me. I think I'm catching a cold. Oh, pardon me. Okay, anyway, the rotor speed is stabilized at about 223.9 hertz, right? At uh, these parameters. And what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to pull the, the uh, core of the loop stick out just a little bit. And I'm going to put this little spacer in there. Like that, to hold the, the core of the loop stick out a certain amount. Okay, so that spacer is in there. The loop stick has been pulled out slightly. The current has gone down now to 50 milliamps, or microamps rather, 50 microamps. The LED is still glowing. And the rotor speed has gone up a little bit. Okay, and the voltage has gone to, let's see, what is it, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, uh, 10 volts peak to peak, right, so we have 10 volts peak to peak now, at 50 milliamps, or microamps, sorry, <laughs> not very much current, and, uh, a forward voltage on the LED 2.569, the resistor is 4630 ohms, and we've stabilized at 226.6. So now I'm going to remove that spacer and push the core all the way in. Now we go back up to 90 microamps, so we've gained 40 microamps. And we're up again at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, almost 14. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, call it 13 volts peak to peak. And the speed has dropped. Okay, So we've extracted a, a known quantity of energy from the rotor or rather power from the rotor and we can tell the difference in the rotor speed from doing that. Thank you for watching.